I mean, I've watched this, these guys attacking. Suddenly these guys appeared from somewhere with sticks. These looked like commandos. And I thought, you know, they're here to defend me because, you know, my life is at threat. So the, the judge had ordered that I have to be protected. So I thought they'd come to defend me. And I thought, God, looks like there's some terrorist in the room. And then I discovered it was me they were after. So it was um, shocking, really, the way they beat up everyone and then they took me like some sort of a terrorist. We are hearing from the military and the government that the security concerns around you and the threat and risk has been so high that this was the only option, that you forced their hand. They're petrified of elections. The gap between us and all the other parties is so huge now that they're petrified that they will be wiped out. So they have decided that the only way they'll allow elections is if I'm inside jail or killed. There are two attempts, been two attempts on me. And most of my senior, senior leadership should be jailed too. This is what they've done. They've used this to put the entire leadership of PTI in jail. What is your strategy if you are rearrested? Well, low strategy. I'm mentally prepared to go into jail. Your arrests spark widespread and violent protests. We saw military installations set light, houses attacked, government buildings. Do you condemn that violence, violence that the government say your own supporters carried out? I condemn, I have always condemned all violence. Do you have faith? in the judiciary and where do you think democracy in Pakistan is right now? Well, the democracy in Pakistan has never taken such a battering as it has right now. I mean, all our fundamental rights are violated. This sort of thing has never happened. No political figure has ever had 100 and almost 50 cases. And then his house raided. Once they attacked for 24 hours, then when I was away, they threw an armored car, they broke through my door, raided my house. My wife was all alone by herself. It's never happened before. So democracy is an all-time low. The only hope we have is the judiciary.